T-14 is a Russian battle tank with an uninhabited turret, based on the Armada Universal Tracked Platform. The tank is equipped with a unified tactical link control system that connects all objects with the help of software and hardware interaction complexes. The T-14 is designed not for a single combat, but to work with a group of different combat vehicles in one tactical level, performing the functions of reconnaissance, target designation, and remote control through a single tactical level control system of the Sazvezdi concern. The T-14 uses an engine and active suspension with the following characteristics. A85-3A engine with automatic transmission and variable power from 1350 to 1800 HP provides movement at speeds up to 90 km h. The volume of the fuel tank is 2100 liters and is designed for a range of up to 500 km along the highway. Active suspension provides a radical reduction in tank sway on the move, which increases the accuracy of shooting on the move and the speed of movement over rough terrain. The tank's combat information and control system controls the engine, transmission, and active suspension devices, automatically making decisions on tank maintenance and giving voice commands to the crew. T-14 uses common elements of passive armor. Frontal composite armor, impenetrable for modern anti-tank guided missiles up to 150 mm caliber and armor-piercing feathered subcaliber projectile up to 120 mm caliber. The compartment of the engine transmission compartment, the ammunition compartment and the fuel compartment are isolated from each other by armored bulkheads. Additional fuel tanks are protected from fire by an open cell filler, as well as protected by armor and an anti-cumulative screen. The armor of the T-14 turret consists of the main armor and an anti-fragmentation casing, the instruments on the turret are located between the layers of the armor. The casing protects the tank's instruments from shrapnel, high explosive, and bullet damage. Reduces radio visibility against the most advanced radar-guided anti-tank guided missiles in various frequency bands. The casing of the tower ensures the resistance of the devices to the electromagnetic pulse. The casing is collapsible, which allows you to get quick access to the devices under it for the purpose of repair and maintenance. In the aft part of the T-14 turret there is a spare ammunition load for a machine gun. The reloading of the machine gun is fully automated, which allows the crew not to leave the tank. The T-14 is equipped with 4th generation dynamic armor malachite, capable of repelling shots from handheld anti-tank grenade launchers with a probability of more than 95%, as well as destroying modern sub-caliber anti-tank shells. The tank has active protection afghanid, that is, opposition to attacking projectiles. Active protection afghanid includes the integration of a fire control system to open return fire in the event of an attack on the protected armored vehicles. In such situations, afghanid controls the rotation of the tower towards the incoming ammunition so that the most armored and least vulnerable part of it gets under attack, and the tank itself gets the opportunity to deliver a lightning-fast retaliatory strike on the calculation of the anti-tank missile system. The Afghanid complex is safe for infantry moving under the cover of the tank's armor behind or directly on the armor, as it is focused on disabling missiles by means of smoke metal curtains and electronic warfare. To enhance the effectiveness of the camouflage curtains, the T-14 is equipped with thermal insulation of the hull and reduced visibility in the radio range. The T-14 uses radar to reconnoitre targets of all kinds, from enemy armoured vehicles to recognising anti-tank guided missiles in flight. The T-14 surveillance radar can simultaneously track 40 ground dynamic and 25 airborne aerodynamic targets at a distance of up to 100 kilometres. In addition to the four surveillance radar panels, the T-14 also has two ultra-fast response radars for short range. These radars are needed to trigger destructive elements of active protection against projectiles, as well as for camouflage purposes when the main T-14 surveillance radar is turned off. On the turret of a tank with a machine gun mount, there is a panoramic sight with independent rotation from the axis of the machine gun by 180 degrees with a highly sensitive and high-precision infrared system with cryogenic cooling. The infrared camera is paired with a camera in the visible light spectrum and a laser rangefinder. Together with the machine gun mount, 
the panoramic sight can rotate 360 degrees. The infrared sight of the tank is designed for precise aiming of the gun at the target and is used as part of the fire control system, as well as for examining the target received from the tank commander by the gunner. The T-14 is equipped with six high-resolution cameras on the tank turret, which allows the crew to observe the situation around the tank 360 degrees without leaving it. The tank's fire control system receives data for shelling targets from radio-optical means of detecting their coordinates. The first copies of the tank were equipped with a 125mm 2A82-1C smoothbore gun, which had the ability to fire on the move. The range of hitting targets is up to 7,000 meters and the rate of fire is 10 to 12 rounds per minute. The 2A82 gun has 17% more muzzle energy and 20% more accuracy than the best NATO gun on the Leopard 2 tank. The 2A82 autoloader fires long ammunition up to 1 meter long, which is critical for high-powered armor-piercing projectiles, such as the Vacuum 1, similar to the M829A3 for Abrams. Regular ammunition for the T-14 has not yet been created. The 152mm 2A83 caliber gun has an armor-piercing capacity of a sub-caliber projectile of more than 1,000mm. For 152mm shells, armor-piercing is often not required, since the kinetic energy of the shell is enough to tear off the entire enemy tank turret even without breaking through its armor. On December 9, 2021, the Armada tank received a new ammunition load of nuclear shells. A hit will lead to the destruction of equipment and structures with a diameter of about 200 to 400 meters, and an instant lethal dose of radiation will be 700 meters in diameter. At the same time, such a projectile can be safely used from 6 kilometers from the tank. The T-14 has the ability to launch missiles of the Reflex M and Cornet missile systems, which have a range of 5 to 10 kilometers and an armor-piercing range of 850 millimeters, 1,400 millimeters. The T-14 also has a 9M133 FM3 air defense missile with a range of 10 kilometers, which is specially designed to destroy air targets at an altitude of up to 9 kilometers and aircraft at speeds up to 900 kilometers per hour. The machine gun armament consists of an anti-aircraft gun with a cord machine gun, remotely controlled by a commander or gunner, and paired with a Kalashnikov machine gun. The anti-aircraft machine gun is integrated with the tank's AFAR radar, thermal imagers, and is capable of hitting even high-speed targets at a distance of up to 1,500 meters. The T-14 tank is capable of automatically calculating the coordinates of the positions of enemy tanks and artillery based on the trajectories of shells flying past the T-14, and automatically firing them. However, for accuracy, additional reconnaissance of the target by optical means will be required. The tank is capable of launching the pterodactyl unmanned reconnaissance and target designation vehicle with its own surveillance radar and infrared sight. The height and radius of the flight of the unmanned vehicle is limited to 50 to 100 meters, but allows it to stay in flight for an unlimited time, to plan behind the tank at its speed and to be more protected from electronic warfare. The unmanned vehicle expands the distance to the horizon up to 26 to 37 kilometers and can observe objects at a distance of up to 10 kilometers. The T-14 has a number of advantages over existing NATO tanks, a long-range radar, an active suspension that increases the speed and accuracy of the tank's firing, frontal armor that is impenetrable by modern missiles and shells, and an active defense system that can even intercept shells.